Hi, Micropunter here. Um, I recently bought myself uh, this uh, yeah, USB microscope. Uh, you can connect it to a computer over the USB port and then you can watch the images directly on the computer. You can also take videos and pictures. And what I want to do now is, is um, I want to have a close, uh, show it to you. I want to give you a short review of this uh, product. One of the things that makes this, this microscope um, so attractive is it's extremely low cost. I bought this one over eBay for around seven British pounds. That's around eight uh, euros or nine US dollars. Um, there was uh, no shipping cost and I had to wait several weeks for it to arrive from China. But then when it was here, um, that's basically what I got here. So it is one of the, yeah, um, I would say cheapest ways of, of uh, magnifying your surrounding and the world. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you, um, yeah, I'm going to unpack uh, the product um, a little bit and I'm going to show you, um, what you get uh, what you get when you buy this. And what I've also seen is, is that uh, apparently um, this um, USB microscope is also rebranded. Uh, so there it uh, runs also uh, with, uh, yeah, with other brand names. Um, if you check eBay or Amazon, you sometimes uh, see microscopes that look not only similar, but exactly ex the same as this one here, but um, it's uh, actually got a brand name. This one here is a no name. Uh, yeah, it's the no name version, so to say. So, okay, so let's get started with the unpacking. Well, I ordered the microscope over eBay. I paid uh, se uh, seven British pounds or eight euros. This would be nine US dollars for it. Uh, shipping costs, uh, there were none. And uh, this is how it arrived. Um, so there, it's not branded at all. So it's a no-name device uh, wrapped up in some soft foam. And this is how it looks like. Lots of uh, plastic uh, material. I unpacked it. Um, and uh, I yeah took out the parts as you can see now it uh, came uh, not only um, the, not only the microscope but there was also a little stand uh, included uh, which was uh, yeah reasonably solid uh, it seemed to be quite uh, heavy it seemed to be made out of metal um, and uh, yeah I basically unpacked everything and then I had a closer look um, at it. And uh, unfortunately, um, I, there were no real instructions um, included, um, so um, I simply had to try it out uh, with a USB 2.0. It says here 40 times to 1000 times magnification, um, which is not quite correct. That's a focus uh, and there are two buttons. There's also a, a cover on, on the very front. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, the cable. The cable itself is, is uh, long enough. Um, that is, there was also a small CD um, included. And then uh, what I did is um, I yeah, simply uh, took um, everything um, out and I tried to assemble the stand first of all. Um, this was actually made of metal, I think I already mentioned this, um, and it was reasonably solid. Um, and then I had to simply put everything together and there is a little um, yeah, a screw here and uh, by tightening the screw you can also um, adjust uh, the yeah, the posi position of the of the microscope. Uh, then, um, I would say that this uh, clear plastic uh, stand that uh, clips um, on the microscope that was actually the part that is a little bit delicate. And everything else was uh, quite solid, uh, but this uh, clear plastic part at the top, uh, I think that could break easily. Um, but it was okay. Yeah, there was also a little uh, yeah a calibration foil here, um, which allows you to kind of uh, yeah determine the magnification. Then this is how the stand looks like, um, and. Uh, by uh, loosing the screw um, and tightening it again, uh, you can uh, determine the or you can adjust the position of the yeah, of the microscope. And uh, yeah, I think if you tighten it too much, then you might uh, break the plastic a little bit. Uh, it's not so steady or stable, but it was uh, generally okay. The microscope itself made a very um, yeah solid uh, um, impression. The manufacturing quality was okay. Um, I could not see any any major problems with that. Um, yeah, by turning the the focus, you can see that the inside part uh, with the lens uh, moves in and out, and uh, yeah. And uh, this is the CD, and I saw that the CD actually was broken. This was a, a really, that's a real annoyance uh, because I was actually hoping to download the drivers, but it did work um, because the standard Windows 10 uh, that I used uh, included uh, already the drivers, and I was able to use the program um, that already came with the computer, so I was able to use the microscope. There's a, a snap and a zoom button. I don't know what the zoom button is for, maybe it's some kind of a digital, digital zoom. Um, but the snap button is uh, for taking uh, for recording uh, pictures again um, I was not able to use it using the um, program from Windows 10 it's standard one that maybe it does work when you um, install the, the program from the CD 
Unfortunately, because there was no name on it, uh, there was no brand on it, I could also not download anything. I could not find the, the company that actually made that. The reason I think is this is because it's uh, rebranded uh, depending on the importer. Yeah, so that's the USB cable and there is also a little um, yeah um, thing that you can turn here to adjust the intensity of the LED. That's, uh, that's quite convenient actually. Um, and here let's have a, another close-up of the, of the two buttons here. Which actually then only work if your if your software supports uh, if your software supports it. And there is a little a little uh, rim in there, and this one is uh, for uh, holding the stand. Uh, so you can see that it actually, yeah, snaps in there, and yeah, then you can actually put the microscope up uh, on your table, and then you can observe whatever you want. There are eight LEDs uh, here. Uh, the front part here was a little bit wobbly, but it didn't disturb too much uh, because uh, there is actually no pressure applied there, um, and. Yeah, so again, I'm gonna snap it on there, and then I wanted to actually you now connect it to the computer um, to try it out. Uh, and the first thing that I did is I um, yeah I started the camera program that came with Windows uh, 10. Um, this is a yeah just came with it and it was able to recognize immediately um, and that's my jeans okay so I just took a picture of my jeans and then um, yeah now I'm adjusting the light intensity and when you click record um, then um, I got an error uh, error um, that was a little bit strange uh, I'm gonna show you now you click the record button and there's a picture that you can take a snap a picture and now when you press the record but button um, then um, what I got is is I, I got an error I'm gonna show you now See, something went wrong. Um, it doesn't matter though, I just closed it and it continued to record uh, and save uh, the file. So it worked, it did work fine. Um, but uh, as I already mentioned, there is no possibility using this program to actually um, yeah, use the buttons that uh, came with the camera. I also want to show you something else uh, that I uh, figured out. Uh, I'm also going to show you how you can connect this camera to a smartphone. Um, yeah, now I'm also focusing. You can see I'm turning. I'm turning this little wheel here. Okay, um, and uh, then you can also display the image uh, on the smartphone, and you can take pictures like this. Uh, it makes it portable. Um, this is a free app, by the by the way. It, it, it did not come along with uh, this uh, camera here. Um, but uh, the nice thing is, is that it seems to be compatible. But what you need here is, is you need a yeah an adapter cable that I've uh, connected here. So yeah, I'm also going to show you this uh, how I've done that. Yeah, so this is the adapter cable that you need. This is a yeah, USB uh, 2 adapter and uh, you just, uh, pl it does not come along with the camera by the way, I bought this separately. Um, and you simply plug it in um, on one hand and with, on the other hand you can plug it in, in into uh, the mobile phone. I'm using here an Android mobile phone now. And I downloaded a free program. I think there are several uh, uh, camera programs that you can use. I simply used uh, the, a program called USB camera. Um, and uh, yeah, it recognizes it that uh, you've got a camera plugged in and then you can start uh, yeah, immediately viewing and recording uh, the things on your mobile phone. I think this really has the big advantage that the whole system now becomes portable. I can imagine also for educational use. So if you've got a, a whole bunch of students and you want to um, go out into nature and do some nature observation and uh, you want to take pictures, uh, then um, yeah, you're, uh, then you can actually think this is quite useful. Here I'm now looking at a stamp. Um, by the way, if you want to see the camera in action, I do have uh, another YouTube channel. Um, there's a link uh, below in the description where um, I'm actually showing you how the camera, I'm, I'm using this ca camera to observe my skin. But right now I'm just using here um, a stamp uh, and I just want to yeah, look at the stamp. And the further you go away, of course, then you have to refocus a little bit. It's a little bit wobbly right now. I'm not using the stand, but uh, you can you know, get a larger view, of course, by moving away and then you have to refocus. Um, the image quality is is so so. It's it's okay. Um, I, I don't uh, expect very much uh, from the camera. Okay, um, but it is concerning that the pr considering that the price is that low, um, I was quite happy with it. I mean, it, as it. As I mentioned, I think it does not really fully replace a stereo microscope, of course, but I'd probably rather uh, use this microscope than, um, I don't know, for children, for example, than, than a, a toy microscope, let's say. Because uh, with this microscope, you can actually go around and explore the world a little bit. You can take pictures um, yeah, and, and uh, yeah, okay, widen your horizon a little bit uh, this way. Um, I can also imagine that uh, it can be used to, uh, to do simple quality checks on, on various objects. Um, yeah, again, uh, you have to refocus it. Now you can see the, yeah, the individual color dots um, of the stamp. 
Yeah. Um, one thing that's uh, also possible with this app is, is that you can take snapshots, uh, pictures, you can take pictures and uh, it will save it on the phone and you can also uh, of course uh, record um, videos. Um, that is uh, also a possibility which I consider quite uh, convenient. Um, and this app also makes it possible to use uh, at least one of the buttons uh, that uh, comes with a microscope. Again this is a, a free app so <clears throat> uh, um, it's, uh, you can also use other apps. Uh, I, I suppose they also have the same functionality. The reason is, is because uh, the standard that the, the sensor or that the camera uses is uh, yeah, is apparently compatible. Yeah. And uh, what I also wanted to say is, is, I don't know, that might be another idea, is, is maybe it is possible to kind of take the camera apart, uh, the microscope apart and uh, connect it directly to a microscope. That would be kind of interesting as well. Something I've not tried yet, maybe that's another project. Um, then you have a very direct way of actually doing microscopy using your mobile phone by simply putting the whole um, yeah, USB microscope directly in front of the eyepiece. I mean, you might have to remove the, you might have to remove the, 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 the lens. Yeah, but again, here I'm playing around with uh, the stamp, um, and you can press press record, and then it will record um, the video. Um, another thing that I want, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to show you now the, the, the thing here, the settings. Um, and in the settings, you can um, actually switch on the feature that uh, the buttons uh, should be recognized. So when the, yeah, you switch it to on, and then by pressing uh, the button, you can, uh, yeah, immediately uh, toggle the the recording. It might be convenient as well, um, yeah. But um, I would say it's not an absolutely essential feature. Yeah, but uh, by now I'm going to show you, I'm pressing now the button on the side, yeah, I'm pressing it and then you can actually see on the mobile phone that it starts uh, recording. Yeah, you can see in the corner, on the top left corner here, you can see actually it starts recording and it uh, keep, uh, starts keeping the time. Um, you press again and it stops recording. Yeah. So and then you can see on the screen uh, the place where it saved uh, the video. Yeah. So that is uh, that's kind of uh, pretty much um, all I wanted to show you here. Um, and uh, one of the things that I at the end also wanted to try out is is I wanted to see if it is uh, possible to also um, use this uh, to magnify text. So maybe uh, to use it as a little bit of a, of a projector. You have some kind of uh, printed material on on paper and then you want to project it maybe to a screen somewhere maybe for teaching purposes yeah so that's what i'm trying right now here is this uh it's magnifying too much so what you have to probably do is, is you have to lift uh, the the microscope camera up um, to get a smaller view but i would say it's uh, not really suitable for projecting uh, text uh, the reason is is because it simply magnifies too much what you want to have you're going to want to get a full a4 um, sized page so the question is now is uh, what can this microscope be used for? Um, first of all, of course, it's not meant to be a replacement uh, for a stereo microscope or a compound microscope, obviously. Also, the image quality certainly is by far not as good um, as if you um, were to mount the camera directly to a microscope. Uh, but I can imagine that uh, also in the educational sector, this uh, can have certain uses. I can imagine that uh, if you connect it to, uh, to a mobile phone, for example, and you can take it along um, and you can do some uh, nature observation with, uh, with children or so. So in that sense, I think it, it's uh, quite useful it's also useful for uh, doing quick quality checks um, so if you want if you see something and you want to do a quality check uh, yeah and uh, simply observe it then I think that uh, is also quite possible and another uh, place where I can imagine this is uh, to be used maybe as a replacement for magnifying glasses uh, and it also allows you to document uh, the things uh, that uh, you're um, able to see because it's uh, e easily possible to take pictures and videos with it well in any case uh, that's it uh, Wish you all the best uh, as uh, as always. Happy micro hunting! Um, do subscribe to the channel if you're interested, and also there's this bell button that allows you to always be automatically notified when I upload a new video. Um, also check out my Instagram channel where I'm uh, also um, yeah showing you pictures of uh, various everyday objects, and then you can guess what they are. And yeah, all the best. Happy micro hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye bye.